Solid, I need a task for my trophy room door. There's 20 bucks in it for you, Leo. <laughs> yes, that slipper is useless now. It sounds like the two were old pals. There was a similar pattern on the watch I took from uh, Malcolm. Okay, we just stabbed it here. Malcolm keeps his pattern clues. Pattern codes close. Hmm. I want that $20 too. A boom zap. Yeah, they're not making any more Hopas. They're making like strategy games now. I actually forget the name of that game they're making. Uh, I played it a few times. They got in touch with me. They wanted me to do some live streams with them. And I was like, um, I'm not really into competitive strategy games. So, but you know what? Kudos to them for going out and trying something different. Okay, so what are we doing here? Move the colored squares to match the colors on Malcolm's watch. Select and drag the squares to move them. Matching colored squares moves move together. Okay, so... Wait, what? Uh, uh-oh. Oh, this actually might be working. Yes! Uh, I don't think Boom Zap made Otherworld. But I could be wrong. Ali, hello! Welcome! Good to see you here. No, you know what? Um, game developers reach out to me from time to time and I am totally blessed and shocked every time they do it. By the way, I have a surprise coming up for you in a couple of weeks. Uh, how many of you know Daily Magic Productions? I believe that's the name of the developer. They did uh, Ominous Object Series. Anyways, they reach out to me and they asked me if I would play one of their future games special. So, yeah, I'm thinking about that. So, some chats telling me that Otherworld is also Boom Zap, so there you go. After Ravenhurst locks, these are a piece of cake. Time to investigate this workshop. Mm-hmm. Did you miss a lot? You missed maybe half an hour? I don't know if that's a lot or not. Ah, uh, Firebird's Child. This chat is a uh, intimate experience, not a mega chat. So yes, you're going to be able to follow along quite nicely. You've never heard of Daily Magic Productions? Maybe I'm not saying that right. Uh, Michelle, thank you so much for the follow. Ominous Objects is the one that comes to mind right now. But anyways, they sent me a message. It's actually an iPad or a... Android game that they've asked me to uh, do something special with, so that's kind of what I'm planning to do. Looks like we got some more whisper fun. You shouldn't be scared of monsters. Don't be afraid to look under your bed or down the stairs. Just don't look behind you. She hates being seen. Uh, yes, Daily Magic also did the uh, Sable Maze games. You are correct. Exactly. Mm, beetle car, motorbike, prom, mannequins, and jacket. I think we're going to go ahead and put this in here. Insert reference. Apply modeling clay. I do not have any of that. Uh, did they do cursed cases too? Maybe. Avondale folk tales. Hmm. It's a potato. Who doesn't like potatoes? Let's deduct three pipes, two pull strings. Hmm. 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 Spooky. 
exactly. Modern clay? I don't think a potato is going to be modern clay. No, I didn't think so. I am not streaming on Mixer at this moment in time. I had a bit of a glitch the other day, and I just haven't tried to fix it yet. I am streaming on Twitch, YouTube, and Smashcast at the moment. Hmm. That is definitely one messed up dress. Look at this thing. What is going on here? <laughs> uh, I thought we were going to make like a potato watch. Isn't it like you can like connect the battery up to or potato acts like a battery or something? Okay. Uh, ooh, this looks familiar. You have collected a plus item. Plus items going to be examined further and even combined with other items from your inventory. I think we're going to add good old wooden head. Mm-hmm. Mr. Potato Head. Uh, okay. This looks like false advertisement. This shop isn't even open yet. I guess my two cents are needed. Okay. Uh, maybe we're supposed to match it to this, I guess? Let's try. I'm a ballerina. A drawer key, okay. Yes, we're doing Sherlock Holmes dancing men figurines. Uh, Mystery Case Files is known for one particular puzzle that's very similar to this, actually. That has shown up quite a bit, but I haven't... Wait, what cabinet do we need to unlock now? Mr. Case Files is one of the first series you played as a child. Well, I can tell you right now that Dyer Grove was one of the first I played that made me, frankly, decide that I should play more hidden object games. Uh, map! Good question. We haven't even looked at this thing yet. Wow, they're really going all epic -y with these maps. It's kind of crazy. Interest, position... That's kind of weird to see a map like that. Uh, am I collecting falling leaves? Um, I think I am. Have I... Where was there some? Here. Okay, so it's saying collectible found, 0 of 10. So what is the collectible? Ah, uh, see, I tried to click that thing that was kind of flashing at me, but it didn't seem to work. I don't think it's that. Red ink. Like, I can't click it. It's not letting me click whatever that is. But there's definitely something collectible-ish here. Hmm. Nope, that just takes me there. Alright. Well, let's go ahead and, uh, just... Oh, I thought it was gonna jump me over. Oh well. Uh, Beyond Light Event was Game of the Year. You know what? I would have to agree with you. That was one heck of a game. Oh, I thought that was going to be a puzzle. I wonder what they were burning. Avondale's most promising student saved. Emily Croker mourns brother loss. Town others glad their children survived. No help offered to victim's family. Tragic auto accident. Teenager dies in fire. Avondale Folk Tales, page 16. There's a lot of information here. I'm sure it'll be explained along the way. Alvin Croker. Is, isn't that kind of a bit of a pun there? Be on the gravestone. So wait, how old would Elvin have been? 18? I think my math's right there. What does this flag mean? Objectives. Gain entrance to Malcolm's studio and in investigation. Yes, this is the beta, so we're just kind of having fun with this. Checking it out. I <laughs> did a terrible job burning the photos. Yes, I know. Yes, he's Elvin croaked because he croaked. And look, we're back to this scene. 
Aren't we lucky? A little bit of skateboard action. Bloody chainsaw, please. Man, there's a lot of junk in here. Where's that eight ball? T-Mog. Pills here. Man, I really miss Left 4 Dead. I know it's kind of random, but... Whenever I think of pills, I think of... Left 4 Dead. Ah, uh, there's the pills. There's the arrow. And the fountain pen. Done. Ah, uh, good question. Who does name their child Alvin? Alvin and the Chipmunks. So we have ourselves a flag piece. Interesting. Uh, let's have a look. Oh no, not our case report. Although maybe we could. Not a whole lot has happened. Alvin's letter. Oh, we're putting it back together now. That's kind of neat. My suspicions were correct. This whole ordeal is of a supernatural origin. An entity awoke before my very eyes. It left a mark on me. You play Left 4 Dead on your Xbox One? Oh, that's cool. Left 4 Dead or Left 4 Dead 2? Uh, I probably played Left 4 Dead 1, uh, mostly on my PC, but I did have it on my Xbox 360. Uh, Left 4 Dead 2 played mostly on my PC. Let's have a look at the map here. Uh, interest, position, I guess go back to the workshop. Do I think Epix will bring back a Ravenhurst? I know a lot of people are asking for it. I don't know. I don't know if it'll ever come back. The book is huge! I need a page number. Make sure, children, to have your morals and spirits built. Or the Revenant will come and feed you your guilt. Oh my gosh, this poor kid's in the corner. A supernatural manifestation of revenge. Once invoked, it will hunt and kill everyone who wronged it before disappearing again. The Revenant can be stopped with salt. Holy cow, supernatural. Revenge is the name of the game who wronged the deceased, Alvin Croker. Oh, look, picture with their faces. Hi. I have a feeling this is a photo of the Trump variant. Okay. Oh, look, he's wearing a dress. That is how it should be. She's got that 80s haircut, don't you think? With the bangs and all that good stuff. Theo, Fran, and Milk. Oh look, I was right, 1985. Aha. Alvin Croker, a generation's hero. Young man gave his life to save three prominent students from a fiery crash. And we have the other half of the flag. Get out of my sight! You're not welcome in Avondale. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why? That's Miss Boyle's voice. It came from the outside. I should check it out. Yeah, no kilts here. Is it true, Francis? Has he come back? I need to see him. One more word, and I'll dismantle everything you own! The spoil is already showing your true colors! Sorry you had to see that, Detective. Emily Croker, like any other town trash, isn't worth discussing. <laughs> Snap! Hashtag drama! Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry I left so suddenly. But seeing those pictures of us just made me antsy. I came because I fear Theodore might be number three. 
She does sound very violent. He feels it as well. He's paranoid. If anyone can get to him, it's you. His pelt shop is uh, over on Main Street. Elvin Croker has a living sister named Emily. Theodore Irving is paranoid. The list of suspects is growing. Mm hmm. Uh, by the way, if you have an Amazon Prime account, you can actually subscribe to your Gibbs for free on a monthly basis. Just saying, that's something that you may want to be interested in doing. If you have an Amazon Prime account, you have one free Twitch subscription that you could actually share. It doesn't cost you anything, it's kind of neat. Uh, we would like to push Miss Boyle in front of the car, please. Okay, so I guess we're going forward here. Mr. Irving, I presume. The paranoid claims look real. 